Hey everyone, and welcome back. So we're back with part two of our amazing eShop deals video. And look, I dropped a challenge for all of you, asked you for 2000 views and 100 likes within two days, and you guys smashed that objective. I got over 4,000 views and over 200 likes in only one day. Honestly, I am so glad you guys are liking the content. So I'm so happy to be coming right away back with part two as promised. The good news is that even since Saturday, there's been a couple of games that have shown up back on the eShop on sale that are great games to pick up. So the list might even go over 20 games today. Now don't forget that if you want the full list and you haven't seen part one yet, it's still available. It came out on Saturday. You can see the video on the channel. I'll be linking it up above. So I don't think I have to remind all of you, but I'm gonna say nonetheless that if you would like this video once again, Please hit the like button again, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. But now, let's get started with the video because with over 20 games to look at, this is going to be quite the list. So the first game we're going to look at is Overcooked and Overcooked 2. Now both games are on sale this week. If you've never played Overcooked, they are a returning game on the channel. I mean, every time this game is on sale, I love to point it out because this is one of the top-notch party games on the Switch. Basically, you play as cooks that have to prepare meals and it requires extreme coordination between all the players playing. One quick warning though, I always give it for buying this game. If you play with people that have quite a temper when others like don't pull their own weight, you might want to keep this game away from those type of people because sometimes anger can get flare up when you're playing this game if you are a very competitive person. Now, as we can see here, Overcooked 2 is 50% off at $12.49, but when we get a little bit lower, the first one, the percentage is even higher. So if you're not sure about this game, start with the first one. Now, the second game on the list is the first time it's going to be mentioned on the channel, and that is Donut Country. This is an extremely fun, laid-back puzzler. You basically play as a raccoon that's been sucked into a hole, and you now have to control this hole remote controlly to basically absorb everything on the stage. As you pull things in, the hole gets bigger. So basically to solve the puzzle, you have to figure out what you need to get to first and basically end up getting everything on the stage. It's a awesome laid back puzzler and at 70% off for 389. If you want an awesome game to just chill out and kill a few hours during the holidays, pick up Donut Country, it's an awesome game. Now the next game on the list is going to be Jump Force. Right now Jump Force is 40% off, bringing it down to $29.99. If you're a huge fan of anime and you've always wanted to see battles between characters from different universes, Jump Force is an awesome game. However, I, quick warning, if you're not a fan of these anime series, skip this game. It's not for you. But if you love Bleach, if you love Naruto, if you love Dragon Ball Z, one Piece, just to name a few. This is an awesome game. It's not uh, the most polished game out there, but it is fun just because you get to basically get a huge mashup of all these different universes. Next, we have the Dragon Quest series that is also on sale right now. However, right now it's only 30% off, but since the starting prices are so low, it's still pretty much worth it. Basically, you have Dragon Quest 1, 2, and 3, which if you're not aware, is games that were made for the NES originally. Now, these are not the original, original versions. They are the remasters that they made for the mobile universe. Uh, personally, I pref would have preferred the original, original ones, but the storyline and the gameplay remains pretty much the same. Basically, if you want to see where the Dragon Quest series started, these are great games to pick up. However, they are old school, grindy RPGs. So if you do decide to try them out, be aware that you're gonna be in for quite a bit of grinding. Now, as I mentioned earlier, we're not gonna go into details because we have so many games to look at. But as I said, Overcooked 1 is right here at 75% off for only $4.99. Same thing as the second one. This is an awesome place to start if you've never tried the series before. Now the next game on our list didn't make the original list, not because it's not a great game, just because the percentage of sale that it's at is not that high. It's only 10% off, dropping the price from $19.99 to $17.99, but No More Heroes is such a great game and it's such a port that we waited for for such a long time on the Switch. 
that it is worth it. And this is an HD remaster. So the game does play in full HD now and it is great, great experience. Honestly, if you haven't played No More Heroes yet, definitely pick this one up. If you are a huge fan of the series, I say it's almost worth double dipping on. Now next on the list, we have Dragon Quest 3. Out of the three Dragon Quest games that are on sale, this is the one that has the best storyline. Because at the third one, Dragon Quest started having really fleshed out individual characters, and the game became more what we're used to in today's RPGs. Once again, it's a remake for the mobile universe. I would have preferred the original, but this one, gameplay story-wise, is exactly the same. And at 874, 30% off, it can be a great pickup if you want a old school RPG and you want to see the beginnings of the Dragon Quest series once again. Next on our list, we have Assassin's Creed The Rebel Collection. Now, this is another returning game on the channel, but at 50% off 1999, this is just as good as it was on Black Friday, and you're getting two of, in my opinion, the best Assassin's Creed games to come out in the last few years. At least two of the best that are available on the Switch right now. And at 1999, making it only about 10 bucks a piece, you have hours and hours of gameplay in front of you. So if you like the action from Assassin's Creed, pick up this collection, it is way worth it. Now next on the list, we have Moving Out. This game is once again returning to our list and Moving Out at 40% off, bringing down to $14.99 is one of its lowest prices it's been at so far. This is another co-op game, this time, however, you have to move furniture out of different spaces. Some are houses, some are planes, some are floating islands. It's really crazy the spaces you get into. Once again, it's a co-op game, so make sure you have a friend to play with because it's way, way funner if you have a couple of people to play with. Once again, though, make sure that they're people that don't have too bad tempers because once again, this game does take some coordination. And if you play with people that, you know, take it a little too seriously, sometimes things can get heated. Now, we talked about No More Heroes 1 being on sale. No More Heroes 2 is also on sale. Look, we won't go into details on this one. No More Heroes 2 is basically the evolution of the first one. Another great game. Only reason it didn't make the original list is because it was only 10% off, dropping it to $17.99. But still, since these are full HD remasters, it makes the game worth it. If you've never played No More Heroes, this is an excellent time to play the first two so that you're ready for No More Heroes 3 that should be coming out beginning next year. And trust me, these is a series you will not want to miss. And right next to it, we have the last of the Dragon Quest games. Once again, we're not going to go into details on this one. We've already looked at two other Dragon Quest games. This is Dragon Quest 2 at 30% off, dropping it all the way down to $4.54. Basically, this is an old school RPG, just like the other two. This one is closer to Dragon Quest 1 than the third, so you're not getting a much deeper storyline. The big improvement for the second is that now you can control multiple characters rather than always being alone. But if you want a more fleshed out RPG, as I said, focus on the third one. If you want more basic, real old school RPGs, the first and the second ones are great places to go for. Now, if you catch this video quick enough, right when it comes out, this game should still have some time left on it, and that is the XCOM 2 collection. That is 60% off right now, dropping the price all the way down to $19.99. Now, if you've never played XCOM before, it is a tactics-based shooter, where in this game, you have to reclaim the Earth that's been taken over by aliens. You have to control resources, and you have to control each individual player on a grid map. Now, it is a great tactics-based game. If you really want a fully-fledged, deep tactics-based shooter, XCOM 2 Collection is your game. It is probably one of the best available right now on the Switch. Now for the next game, while we're on the subject of tactics-based shooters, we have Mario Plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. If you want a more laid-back, entry-level tactics shooter, Mario Plus Rabbit's is a great installment. And even someone who's used to tactics-based shooters, there is something to be said about this game. I've been playing the games for years and years, and I had a ton of fun with this game. 
Of course, the strategy is more on a basic level than an XCOM game. You have no, you don't have too much resource management and stuff outside of the battles, but just seeing the mashup between Mario and the rabbits is excellent. There's awesome bits of humor in this game. And at $14.99, 75% off, this is a great game and it'll provide above 15 to 20 hours of awesome gameplay. Now, next on our list, we have One Piece Pirate Warriors 4. Now, this is a Warriors-based game. I know all eyes right now are on Age of Calamity, but if you prefer playing with the One Piece characters, well, here you have your Warriors game using the One Piece characters. And honestly, it is a really fun experience. Of course, it's Warriors gameplay, so it's one against 100, but it's a ton, ton, ton of fun. And the One Piece characters lend themselves excellently, just like the Zelda characters, to this style of gameplay. And at 50% off at $29.99, it's an excellent time to pick it up. And the fourth game really is the most complete of the series. The other ones are on sale as well, but I skipped them and I focused just on the fourth one. Just because right now, I don't see a reason to buy the others if you can get the fourth one that has, I would say, the biggest roster of characters overall. Next on the list, we have Rayman Legends, which is an awesome 2D platformer, but with very modern graphics. It is, has extremely polished gameplay, and right now at 75% off, dry, dropping the price all the way down to $9.99, this is basically the cheapest I've ever seen this game, matching its Black Friday price. If you want just an old school 2D platformer, but like I said, with really modern graphics, this is an excellent game to pick up over the holidays. You're going to have tons of fun with this one, and it is also really easy to pick up for younger players. Now, the next game on my list is Fury Unleashed. That is still 50% off at $9.99. And basically, this is a game that comes with a warning because it is very difficult. It is a roguelike platformer that basically meshes... The best way I could explain it is a roguelike Contra. It is a shooter, but it is an extremely difficult shooter. So if you want a big challenge for the holiday season and you want a game that is really going to challenge your, re your reflexes, pick up Fury Unleashed. You will not regret it. Next on the list, we have The Escapists 2. At 75% off, dropping the price to $4.99, this is an excellent game to pick up. You basically play prisoners that have to escape from a prison. And what is special about this game is you can actually play it in co-op and you can either play it in co-op to work together or against each other, seeing who basically escapes first. And it is an awesome, awesome game to try out whether you're playing with a friend or not. And the gameplay is just extremely addictive and extremely fun. Escapists 1 is on sale as well, but in my opinion, the second one should be the game to go with. It, it's the more complete of the two, and right now, the price is almost the same for both games. Now, next on the list, we have the two South Park games that are on sale right now. The first one, which is the Stick of Truth, is 60% off, bringing the price down to $11.99. Look, if you want a funny RPG, South Park Stick of Truth is your place. You've got to like the South Park type humor, but these games at first, I didn't believe in, like I didn't play these games. I actually came to them late because I was like, Ugh, a South Park game, it must be awful. But no, these are actually really, really great RPGs. And if you're a fan of the show, you are gonna love these games because you're almost, it's almost like you're playing through an episode of the show and the humor is there, it is awesome. Now the next game on our list is going to be Alien Isolation. Now this game right now is 30% off, dropping the price to $24.49, and it is a great horror experience. And for once, on the Switch, we probably got the best version of this game, because the port was done so well on the Switch that it actually looks better than the originals coming from the PlayStation and Xbox consoles. Basically, if you want an awesome horror game where you horror and it's a horror survival, Alien Isolation is a great time right now, and it's one of the best such experiences that we have on the Switch. Now, next we have Worms WMD. Now, the Worms series is a classic strategy series where basically you control an army of worms that has to eliminate an opposing army of worms. How do they do that? They use a variety of weapons going from machine guns 
rocket launchers, grenade launchers, tanks in this game. Basically, it's an awesome time, and if you love strategy games, then the Worm series is probably one of the best you can get. And at 75% off, dropping the price to $749, this is an extremely, extremely worthwhile experience at this price. I don't... I, I think that overall, if you're looking for a strategy game right now, because of its incredibly low price, Worms WMD would be my first choice. Now we're not going to go into details on this one, but we have the second South Park game at 75% off, dropping the price to $14.99, which is South Park The Fractured Butthole. And honestly, this is another great South Park RPG. It basically carries on from the first one polishing the gameplay even more and once again great humor if you love the show you're gonna love this like i said this is like you're playing through an episode and it's a not miss experience for any south park fan now next we have pumpkin jack which is 30 percent off dropping the price to 20.99 now this is a 3d action platformer and it is very very close to the experience you get with medieval it, it gives that same feeling and basically if you've never played this game you have to try it out it is actually unbelievable because it is an indie game that was made by only one person and ported by a second and i can't believe that overall they managed to de deliver such an awesome experience as they did with this game I, when it originally came out i didn't shut up about it for like three videos and now it's back on sale at 30% off for $20.99. I mean, give this game a chance. It is really worth it. So if you stuck with me so far, we're getting to the end of the list. We have two last games to look at, and they're both in the same series. The first one is Ukulele and the Impossible Lair. Now, this is another 2D platformer, but done with modern graphics. And it is one of the best 2D platformers to come out on the Switch in the last couple of years. Basically, it was made by the same team that made the original Donkey Kong Country back on the SNES, and you can tell that they know how to make a polished 2D platformer. Basically, the gameplay is very, very similar to Donkey Kong Country, but rather than playing as monkeys, you're playing as a lizard with a bat as a pet. And honestly, if you want an awesome 2D experience, try out Ukulele in the Impossible Lair, I bought this game physical for its full price and I never looked back and never regretted it. So imagine right now at 60% off for only $11.99, this is an amazing deal. And the last game on our list is the original ukulele that is now 75% off, dropping the price to $9.99. Now if the first one was a 2D platformer, this one is a 3D platformer. And basically it is mirroring Banjo-Kazooie and once again, it's made by the team that made Banjo and Kazooie originally. So if you want an awesome 3D platformer experience, Ukulele is an excellent place to look at. And on top of it for $9.99, it is a, an amazing value. I'll be honest with all of you, I lost count somewhere halfway down the list, but I know we're way above the 20 games I promised. So I hope all of you that supported me on the first video really appreciated this extra list, because I gotta tell you, over 40 games in two days was quite a massive undertaking, but it was so much fun that I did it with a smile on my face. Now, I'll be keeping a special eye out for Boxing Day, and if some deals hit the eShop, I'll be making another special edition of eShop videos, so check it out if it comes out. As usual, if you guys like this video once again, show the support again and drop the like. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Hit that notification bell so that you know when all my videos come out. And as usual, I hope I'll see all of you in my next video.